Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, talking about the Bitcoin charts, TA Monday, it's the 3rd of July. So, uh, talking about Bitcoin and what Bitcoin is doing at the moment, the charts, short but powerful video. Let's quickly jump into the first chart over, over. I'm getting an R now, because I'm in the Netherlands. Over here, guys, this is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see the bam bam indicator. Um, yes, it's going sideways. You can see that over here. You see it in the top, the red, green, red, green over here. Yes, so it is now deciding what it will do. The Bollinger Band, that blue area is very thin. And always when that uh, Bollinger Band contracts, it, there will be a huge move. So mostly, look, look, look back here, like for example there, I will draw a little bit. Every time, look here, it was a very thin, like it was not wide, the Bollinger Band, bam, huge move. Here again, not that wide, bam, huge move. Here again, not that wide, bam, huge move. Look how long this period has been building over here now. There's already since the 26th of July going sideways. There will be a huge move in Bitcoin, guys. Let's clean up the car chart a little bit. Um, so for me, yes, I still believe that Bitcoin is able to make that move um, all the way to 35 to 37K. So it would mean in the short term, all the way up to that green line in the top, that is a possibility that we could, would go like, break out like this, retest again up, like something like this, that could be a run. Or guys, if we uh, come down, we will come back, retest, and then move back down. So then that would be the entrance of your uh, three, in my opinion. But a short term, let's zoom out, bam. Way more important is the weekly chart, because on the weekly chart, you really see what is happening on Bitcoin. Uh, and this is more for the investors, midterm to long-term hodlers. Yes, we see, uh, it's very simple. We are creating a bottom over here. There, we made a high, we made a higher low, we made a higher high, we made a higher low. We are waiting now for the next higher high. And the next higher high should be somewhere in between 31,400 and 35,400 uh, US dollar per Bitcoin. You can see the resistance is this line over here. This is the resistance. We, we keep trying, we keep trying, we keep trying. And there will be a moment that we succeed. And then bam, we will come down and retest that level again afterward. So here is your take profit. If you are trading on the weekly, uh, like a zoomed out version, yes, MACD positive, RSI topping out over there. So uh, yeah, weekly looking really beautiful. Monthly, bam, zooming out even way more. This is the most important chart. Now we can see two very important things. I already showed this in the previous video, but now I'm gonna uh, zoom into what I showed you the last time. The important thing that you need to understand now on the monthly is this part over here. These candles are closing above the 200 weekly moving average, that red line. You can see all the indicators here, uh, which ones is which line. Now the important lines at the moment uh, to keep an eye on are the 12 monthly average, this is the orange line, and the 21 monthly moving average, it's the blue line. These will cross each other, the orange line will cross that blue line. And now if we go back into history, just to show you what that means, because the moment here at this 2017 top, over there, I will draw because else you can't follow me maybe, top, bear market, there, the orange line crosses the blue line, bam, blue run, 3k all the way up to, bam, 60k guys, so that is the 70k almost, so that is the run, um, and that is what we see over here as well, if we even look back a little bit further, here, this is before the 2070 bull market. We had, of course, here the top. Oh, Didi, come on. Here the top, bear market, orange line crossing that blue line, bam, bull market. So these lines are the lines that we as a community need to keep an eye on when it comes to the long-term investment in Bitcoin. Yes, you should have been buying the bottom. I told you already a long time ago, 16K will be the bottom. You will never go to 12K. A lot of you didn't believe me, but now you start to believe me. This is very exciting. When these two cross, it is beautiful to see um, the next bull market. And the indication of that is now here, that MACD, oh, please just shut down my telephone, that MACD turning into green. Because if you look back into the past, let's, um, make that a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more clear let's see if i can do that for you guys here oh, okay look that's the macd if you look into the past when that macd comes out of the bear market turns green then it's a start of the bull market yes we can dip a little bit 
but the moment from deep red to green is the start of the bull market. Let's see if we can go even back more in the past over there. Here, up, 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 up. we need to zoom in a little bit. I need to make it bigger. Up here as well. Look from red to green. Ah, it's not that clear now. I need to make it even bigger. It's a long time ago. From red to green, start of that bull market. That is how you look at the charts, guys. It's very simple. It's not difficult. You just zoom out uh, because zooming in is only for traders. And we are not traders. Most of you are investors, which means you just invest for the long term. And that long term investment is an amazing time when uh, here on the RSI, on that monthly chart, you see this dotted green line up there. That is the moment the purple line goes above the yellow line. And every time in history when we saw that, look, every time and the purple line goes above that yellow line that is the moment that the bull market is started and that line already crossed a long term ago so if i now um, zoom out back like this i'm going to zoom out completely on the chart so you, you so, so you can uh, exactly see all the numbers that i already put on this chart a long time ago uh, for a long uh, for all the old followers they know already look i'm going to put it here now you can see everything that is on the chart, a little bit small. Um, go into the Telegram group to find the whole chart, but you can see I have all these numbers online on, uh, on this chart already for a long time. You can see the bottom to the halving, the bottom to the new all-time high. Um, I already told you guys, the bottom to the new all-time high, the new all-time high should be in October 2024. The bottom to the next stop, the next stop should be in August somewhere 2025. So yes, all these numbers till now have been in line. If you look to the halving to the top, plus 17 months over here, plus 17 months over there. And here, if you look from the half to the top, it will be plus 17 months. It will also be September 25, August, September 25, and my opinion, the new top. So from here, bottom to the halving, again, also in line, look, 17 bars, 18 bars, 16 bars, probably this time. Beautiful how these charts always work out. Now, let's quickly jump into the last chart that I want to share with you. Bam, over here, this is a preview chart, why? Um, am I showing you this chart because I need to put my face somewhere nicely um, because I told you guys last time in one of the videos, yeah, maybe we won't go above 100k. And when I said that, a lot of comments came to my video and said, oh, you're crazy. We're going to go to a few hundred K and above. And that is why I just want to share with you uh, this chart. And I just want to show you what I mean. Look, that orange one, this Genesis to the 2011 top. That was the first blow of stop in Bitcoin. We, we went to $32 and that was about 300 days after Genesis. Now, this is like the first run. We can't consider that as the average run. Let's see like that. The second one was, of course, here, This um, the second blow of stop was from twelve was from $200 to $1,200. Is that um, pinkish or pinkish line? What is it? That's a 2011 to 2015 cycle. So here uh, we hit $1,200 about 750 days after the bottom. So this is the top, this is the bottom. 750 days after the um, bottom, we hit the top and it was a beautiful top, a uh, blow off top. Now, this is the top that you mostly stepped in. This is 2015 to 2018, it's a 20K top over there. So here, we hit 20K about 1000 days, 1050 days after the bottom. So the top was less high if you look at percentage of growth. Here we are still talking about like 80,000. Here we are talking about 40,000. Here we are talking about 10,000% here on the right side, you can see it, from that bottom. So that was the top. Most people went in around 20K and then in the bear market after that. Now, the last top, that was that purple line. That purple line was the last cycle. It wasn't a blow off top. Blow off top is steeply up and steeply down. Steeply up, steeply down. Steeply up, steeply down. Blow off top is a sideways top. It's a distribution top. This is a top that almost took one year. We went to 70K and that was about 1,050 days after the bottom. Same like here, 1,050 days after the bottom. But this time we only went 2,000% from 3k to 60k so that's almost 2000 percent now why did i say maybe we won't reach um for example 100k this top because we are now here what if we see a decrease again like we see this ending somewhere here around 400 percent or here like also after thousand days 400 percent 
That would mean that that line that we now all are following would go something like, oh, let's draw a little bit. It would mean that the line would go something like this, like a bull mark, bam, still there, 400%. That would mean 400 percent, it's 400 times 16k, that would mean 64k, you know? So that's not like, it's not a guarantee we go above, go above 100k because that means we should go times, uh, for example, 800 percent over there. So we should reach those levels. So it's all in the question. I'm just analyzing the charts. I've seen the tops uh, decreasing in amount of percentage that we go up. So yes, it is a possibility. My heart says we go above 100k, but my chart here says not. And that's why I shared it with you, just to make you understand that yes, there is also a possibility that bam, we will not go to 100k. But then still, if you would have gone into six, at 16k, you would still make a five times, like 500% almost, uh, to 90k, still a shell of the money. So, um, and if you go in now at 30k, it's still times three. That's like three times your capital at the moment in one and a half to two years. Nobody, no bank can give you that return on investment. But still, be careful. Don't believe millions, 200K, 600K. Just look what the charts are doing. Look at the indicators, for example, the BAM or any other indicator that gives you an, an indication, that's why it's called an indicator, uh, when to get out of the market and buy back at the bottom again. Now, that was everything for today. Unstructured as hell, but I'm uh, a little bit busy at the moment, so uh, sorry for that. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. And of course, if you want to trade, oh look, I have my buy widget here, buy bit, buy bit, buy bit shirt on trade on Bybit. The links are down below. If you want to trade decentralized, use Apex. You don't have the risk of losing your uh, Bitcoins or Ethereum or any other currency because they are in your own wallet while you trade on Apex. If that, if you want to have a centralized experience, go to Bybit, best exchange out there and sponsor of uh, Max Verstappen, number one. We are always the number one. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.